If you are enjoying this series or my channel, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the video or whatever you like. Make sure it's positive and you'll get a reply from yours truly. Lastly, follow my Instagram and my Twitter. Links are always in the description below. And if you're enjoying my daily content, be sure to share it to your friends and family. Whoa, it's snowy here. So this is somewhere where Cerberus owns. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Oh my god, I I knew I knew something like this is gonna happen. PTSD is such a thing when I come when it comes to recording. I don't know how I'm gonna edit the last video that you guys just seen or whatever. If you guys did see it or whatever. Huh. Right now I don't care. I don't care. But the last video I recorded, literally, I literally, literally recorded the whole thing. Talking throughout the whole time. And I I guess and before I started the mission, I put my mic closer to me, and when I did that, I guess I disconnected my mic without knowing, and I was talking and recorded it with not my voice in it. I don't know how I'm going to do this or edit that. Hopefully you guys can hear me right now, and hopefully this doesn't ever happen again. I'm not touching my mic ever again when I record, so from there, here and on, let's just hope that I can record without that. Now that was painful. I don't know how I'm going to edit that video, but... Whatever. We saved the freaking Krogan race. Rest in peace to Morden. Man, he put his life on the line to end the freaking genophage. And now we got Rex on our team, and we got the two, two Turians. There you go. The Turians and the Krogans on our side. I heard somebody wanted to talk to me down here. What's up? Commander, I've identified a problem with our engines. A core overload could cause a plasma vent within the engineering compartment. Edie and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. I'm confident we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. Okay. Don't vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we should take every advantage we can get. I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. So I gotta go get a GX-12 thermal pipe. Hopefully I remember to go do that later on. Genophage cure, huh? This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which planet is that again? Reckenstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. Commander, got a minute? Yeah, sure. What's what do you up? Want to know? You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I help them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Hey. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. Commander. Nice, let's go. Nice little interview we got going on. She is freaking hot. Playing with water. You good, bro? Commander. You settling in, Javi? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? 
I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially Ooh. created. Sounds, Sounds like Miranda. Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Pain. And a Krogan who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused. How the hell do you know it is? Mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. We're reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The it's strong crazy how flourished, knew and knows the everything. weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos, the natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life? Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You? You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. The stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. If the Krogan seek retribution for the past, do not waste time on sterility plagues. Destroy them where they stand. Plenty more. In the meantime... Yes. A difficult fight remains. What the hell? Wait, what? Why is Garrus here? Alright, my turn. What's the first order an oh, alliance that's right, he's commander here watching gives over at the start of combat? Um... Uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Alright, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? A friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. <laughs> One time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. Glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. 
They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. Yeah, it feels good. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel, and then there was the Collector base, but... This one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if someone like that brother of his, Reeve, took over. It could happen. I know, it's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Salarian deal. I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Hey, rest in peace to Let's hope our luck holds. in this sector thanks to the fighter squadron facility you're about to attack. We want to seize it, but their air defenses are too strong for a frontal assault. Losses would be too cost prohibitive. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Good luck, Commander. I have visual contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's got to be now. Let's do it. Whoa, it's snowy here. So this is somewhere where Cerberus owns. Oh, my ankles almost hurt it. Commander, you'll have to find the command center to take down their defenses. Okay. Wait, we got a Lambo? Chill. That looks hot. What is this gonna be called? The Tesla flight? <laughs> Tesla Cyber Flight. There you go. That's what it's gonna be called. If I just predicted a flying car from Tesla. Yo, I want some money from it. Come on now. I came up with the name. Come on now. Tesla Flight. Cyber Flight. Tesla Cyber Flight. There we go. Come here. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Any like type of Cerberus missions, I'd like to like have people that were in Cerberus with me on the missions. It only makes sense because we all have knowledge of being Cerberus at the moment. This will take a while. Well, at that time, you know. Makes sense. Dialogue wise, too. I'm just glad those guys with the freaking turrets are not here because that would have been a blow. Cortez, I reach you. Come in. Of course. Alright, so then let's get out of here before it happens. Where is it? Terrific! Atlas from got. where? Oh, Atlas are not that bad. Y'all gas this move. Yo, no, no, no. Y'all gas this robot too much. This robot ain't nothing, bro. He's light work. He's light work. We just can't let him hit you. You let him hit you, it's over. He's light work. Y'all gas this guy up too much. Look at that. Ooh. He's light work. He dead, right? Look at that. Weakness to fire. Light work. I told you. Easy. Anyone wounded? Just the usual minor flesh wound. Bro, you didn't even get touched. What you mean? This was a major victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. Yo, play my outro. Mm -hmm.